All right, so here we are in Las Vegas racing on the strip. For me, the first time ever we've gone down this track. Um, and heat of the day, track is slick. I drew Paige Cop. And look, she got us a few weeks ago, same kind of condition. So we've got some things to do on our end, but uh, you know, I think this car has done really well. We've learned a lot since then. We learned more and more about how to run this Pro Charge combo all the time. So feel good about it. We'll just see how it goes. You know, it's one of those things. Go up in your race and try to win. See you in the second round, hopefully. So we raced Paige Coughlin. The car launched hard, a little too much forward up, and it just stood up. She got out just a little bit because of that, because when the car's got to lift itself, they're getting ahead when they're rolling forward. And then it just stayed up. And then when it sat down, I could steer, steer it back into my lane. Then we just, you know, run past her. And, and uh, look, we've, we've been, Learning how to make this car faster is just part of it. Now we got to change the way packages or get it right because it's just a little too high in the front. But good pass for us on to third round or second round. So we got Axe Man, second round here. He's been fast, he's won grade eights, he's, he's been doing great, he's running up front. So, but our goal when you're racing is to ax the Axe Man, chop down the guy who chops down trees. So, you know, it's our goal this time to get after this round and show him how. I draw Nate Saylor. Nate's running really fast. He's done an amazing job this year. So it'll be a tough pass for us. The car's the car's working good. Make some changes. We're getting it faster. Alan knows what the hell he's doing. So see him fourth now. see I'm home now um, we did make this last video at the track mostly because there was a big brouhaha about the last run we raced Nate Saylor um, pull into the staging lanes both cars leave the same we, we he makes a great run we make great run it's dead even neck and neck he edges us out at the end um, we go down to the end then pull off where the shoots are and my team is coming back and I guess the teams at the line other teams had seen a problem with Nate's car and they called and were kind of well telling Alan you, you got to go check that something's way off on Nate's car now look protests are fairly normal in this style of racing maybe not so much in no prep kings but I've been protested twice over the last couple years both times for turbos both times we got checked both times we passed. It's not that abnormal. It's kind of a normal thing. Um, we don't. I don't talk about it. Other people whine about it. I didn't talk about it. It just happened. It's, it's a normal thing. So 
I said, well, go check. So they walk up to look, my team walks up to look at it. I stay back doing things with the car. And then, uh, then I come back and they're, oh yeah, it's definitely way off. And I say to Alan, we're legal, right? He's like, yep, we're legal. I said, okay, well, let me go, let me just go look. So I go up to look at it <laughs> and I do, it's not, a, it's way off. Like the rule is three inches. It has to be three inches from the ground. That's the rule. It's obviously not even close. Like you're not even in the spirit of the rules trying to make the, make the rules. And there's this thing they've added to the bottom of the extender that's that's the violation. It's, it's so obvious and even written on it is size matters. Like he knows it's off. And he starts complaining to me. I, I, I just said, well, let's just check it. And you and I thought at first because you don't have you know you don't have to check a normal rule violation you don't have to protest it necessarily so I asked the guy to check then it turns into this brouhaha so here comes the guy he checks his it's an inch and a half he misses a three inch rule by an inch and a half misses by a mile he then smartly says well let's check yours and actually quite more rude than that but we go over we check mine and mine is two and seven eighths so I missed it. You know, you never know, you miss it. You miss by an eighth inch and it could be tire pressure. It could be put a little weight on. It could be the way it bounced going over. The, it could be the concrete's not completely flat. Like you miss by an eighth inch. And I mean, there are reasons to miss. If you miss by an inch and a half, you weren't trying to make it. You were just completely off. So didn't matter. It didn't matter to me either. Now I guarantee you next week, everybody will be right. But the point is, um, you know, went on, he won the race. He gets to move on. We're here now ready to go race the next race. And this will be a lot of drama for you to see on TV, on the show when it comes out. So have some fun with it. We did. I'm not worried about it. If you're going to whine about getting protested, don't race. Because especially not if you're going to have something that's so blatantly, obviously off. See you in Ohio.